Now, any kind of surgery is scary. Wait, Doc, you're doing surgery on my eyes and I'm awake? Are you kidding? Well, it works. Now, you might think you're the most sensitive person in the world when it comes to your eyes. 20 years ago, I had a patient who said there's a monument to him on Highway 41, that he's a big chicken when it comes to anything to do with his eyes. He did fine, and I've taken care of many chickens since then. Now, people always worry that they're gonna see something scary during the surgery, but you don't. You don't see anything threatening. You don't see anything coming at you. You just see lights, colors, patterns. Nothing scary. Now, we all know the eye is extremely sensitive. That's because all those nerves are on the surface. But that also makes it very easy to numb it up with the eye drops. There are no injections. There's no pain. Yeah, as you feel my fingers, some water splashing around, can tell something's happening. There's no pain. There's no ouch. Of course, everyone's nervous when something is happening around their eyes. We're wired to be very protective about our eyes because they're so important. So we're going to give you some sedation to help you relax. It takes you from being tense and on guard to, ah, oh, this is easy. I can do this. So no, you're not knocked out because the surgery is not unpleasant and you don't see anything scary. And in fact, people are often surprised when I tell them we're done. Now, few people believe a surgeon who says it's going to be easy. So many people are still nervous when they come in for their first surgery. But very few people are nervous for their second surgery. Think about it. What does that tell you about the first surgery? Must have been pretty easy. Altogether, the surgery takes about 10 minutes. Then you go to the discharge area, get a cup of juice, your instructions, go home. You're at the surgery center for about two hours. When you get home, you can be up and about back to your normal activities. Many people will tell you that, okay, now you're not supposed to do this, bend over, your eyeball's gonna fall out. That's all a legacy from the way surgeries were done many years ago. That changed when we developed small incision cataract surgery. Many people don't realize that I was the first surgeon in Georgia to be doing no stitch, then no patch cataract surgery, and one of the first in the country. Well, that was 25 years ago, and these techniques are now the standard. Yet many people still remember the restrictions from their previous techniques. This is not your mother's cataract surgery. You can bend, you can lift, you can go back to your normal activities. Now when you get home, your vision will still be a little blurry, but you can see out of it because there's no patch on it. It's also normal for the eye to feel a bit scratchy when you get home. There is an incision, and whether it's made by a blade or a laser, it feels rough when the eyelid rubs across it. We recommend that you use the lubricating teardrops several times an hour until the eye's comfortable. Taking a nap often helps. And please, don't drive until we give you permission when we see you back the next day. Many of the steps of traditional cataract surgery can now be done with the accuracy and precision of a robotic laser. These are beautifully smooth incisions that prepare the eye for the most precise and gentle surgery possible. You know, if I gave you a pencil and asked you to draw a circle the size of a dime in the middle of another circle, you could probably make it pretty round and pretty close to the center and about the right size. But the laser's gonna do it right every time. Well, even though I've done over 25,000 cataract surgeries, the laser can still make these incisions more accurately than even these experienced human hands. The laser is a pretreatment that takes just a few minutes and is done in its own separate room before moving to the operating room. No sedation is needed at the laser because you're just laying down and looking up into the machine. It's really not scary. Not only is the laser more precise, but it can actually make incisions that are impossible to make with a blade, and it can also soften the dense central core of the cataract so that it can be removed more gently. The laser also reduces astigmatism. What is astigmatism? Well, very few eyes are perfectly round. When a lens has a warp in it, as shown here, then it has astigmatism and that causes a blur. The laser, by making an incision here and here, allows the eye to become more round, has less astigmatism, less blur, and less need for glasses. This is an amazing technology, but some people have concerns about anything that involves the word laser. Let me make this simple. Someday, when I'm having cataract surgery, it'll be done with a laser. It is simply a better way to do cataract surgery. This technology is expensive, however, and not everybody can afford it. 
We do not push it on people. If somebody can't afford it, I tell them, don't worry about it. Traditional cataract surgery is extremely successful. Yes, a Cadillac is nice, but the Chevy's gonna get you there. You've learned that a cataract is not a growth. It's not something new. It's something that's gotten old. Your lens has gotten old, and we're going to replace it with a new, clean plastic lens. We'll discuss the lens options during your consultation. The surgery is easier than you may imagine. And we have new technologies that make the recovery faster and the vision more precise than we have ever had in the past. Now I remember all too well when the eyes took several months to heal and the patient still needed strong glasses after surgery. Now I continue to be amazed by the number of patients that can get down to the bottom of the eye chart just one day after surgery. So I get more hugs than most doctors do. In fact, my face gets tired from smiling so much on the days that I see my post-op patients because I'm having so much fun sharing their joy and excitement, especially when we give them back more vision than they even realize they were missing. You can see why I love what I do. Not everyone gets to be a hero every week.